this is Luke with the Android Guys podcast. We are in a new type of format we have going on called the Hold Up. And this is where we take games that are not new and say, how do they hold up? It's pretty easy. I'm here with Scott. Hey, Scott. Howdy, Luke. You have a game Mm -hmm. that uh, is not new. It is one that uh, we were surprised on the original release was back in 2001. Yeah. But uh, obviously not for Not for mobile. mobile. (laughs) Uh, The version we're talking about came out after that. But what game are we talking about? And then just get right into it. Yeah. So uh, Bejeweled Classic is what I'm going to talk about specifically. Mm -hmm. Uh, But it's the idea of Bejeweled Classic. Uh, and just bejeweled in general of the match three, you know, you've got gems. So yes. you, you, you want to match three in a row. Usually you have two, and then you want to exchange the two tiles or gems next to each other, the jewels, mm-hmm. and uh, match them up and get rid of them. And if you get four, then you're getting like a power up. Mm-hmm. If you do across a corner, then it gives you another bonus. And so it... I'm having a hard time imagining somebody who can't picture this game or who hasn't seen this game. Sure. Uh, it's 20 years old for, you know, the the PC or, you know, the, the original old one. Uh, Steam game, uh, PopCap. Yeah. Uh, the Bejeweled Classic is an EA title now. Okay. Uh, so that is, you know, it's still, it's electronic arts, but when you open the game, it does say PopCap on there. Yep. Um does it hold up? It does. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, it's one of those games for me, personally, that is often replicated, mm-hmm. but never quite captures sure. the simplicity and the the the, the mode. Yes. You know, we've reviewed some apps recently that incorporate a match three kind of mechanic. Sure. But they put a whole bunch of story on top of that yes just doesn't have that it's just you jump right in and you play classic mode and you are trying to figure out how many points how many levels you can get Mm -hmm. Uh, in the this bejeweled classic you have a couple of other modes one called diamond mine zen um, ice storm each has its own special twist on okay um poker for instance you know, you have to get, uh, if you're, you know, tasked with getting a full house, you have to get three matches that right. might be red gems. Right. And then two of another. Okay. To create a full house. Okay. If you can't do that, then, you know, you lose. Okay. Um, Diamond Mind might be one where half of the level or bottom third of it is underground. Mm-hmm. And you have to get matches just at the ground level to kind of bust the dirt away sure. to get below. Um, Zen mode, I believe, was an endless player kind okay. of mode. So you have a handful of options. Ice Storm, I found to be infuriating. Oh, uh-huh, yeah. It is a mode that I couldn't quite... I can't remember if I ever played it before. Uh-huh. Uh, it does say new in the game, so I don't know okay. if it's just been added recently. However, you have... Uh, you basically have a, a set amount of time you're racing the clock to complete these gems or match them up uh, as there's water rising up f- through a couple of rows mm-hmm. uh, or columns. And then once it gets so far up, then it starts to freeze as ice and work mm-hmm. its way up. Okay. So you have to combat that or beat that. Um, I found that frustrating because it moves so quickly sure that you're looking all over the board trying to make matches but when you realize this level is underwater or starting to create ice you start to you have to focus on that yeah um but that just a personal thing Mm -hmm. uh the game is is a lot of fun it has a lot of different options um I don't want to say a little heavy on advertising, but it has its fair share. Okay. You can unlock it for three bucks, and you'll never see an ad. Okay. Um, there are a couple of modes where as you play it, you only get so many plays for free, and then you have to kind of earn mm-hmm. more plays. You can buy 
your way in to additional plays if you want okay for you know a couple bucks or whatever but i would say generally speaking bejeweled is one of those games where you know if you're describing another game to somebody you're gonna say well, it's like bejeweled right and there's a reason for that yeah uh, there haven't been too many that have come along since that you're like oh I get it. Mm-hmm. I mean, Candy Crush is another one where yeah. people, you know, that's a different generation. Yeah. I and, mean, you know, 10 years later, it starts that kind of trend over. But um, Bejeweled is, I mean, the sounds, the mechanics, mm-hmm. the music, it's very comfor- comfortable. Uh-huh. Um, and I, I, I like I like the repetition mm-hmm. for some of that, like the music and things. I mean, there's a whole school of thought that goes into finding the right music to yes. keep people playing and hooked and uh yeah i would say easily that bejeweled holds up hmm. uh bejeweled classic now there are some other titles available okay uh, there's another one that i was looking at called uh bejeweled stars i believe mm-hmm. and that looks like a version of the game that might kind of walk you through some lists or um levels kind of like how candy crush does okay and you work your way through you know, increasingly harder challenges. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, um, if you haven't had a chance to check out Bejeweled or haven't thought about it in a while and you like casual games, puzzle games, I would suggest taking another look at it. Nice. How do the graphics hold up? Uh, pretty good. Yeah. Uh, they've, I mean, they've been the same for 20 years. Yeah. And they don't feel like this is a 20-year-old game. Uh, a lot of games try to keep that simplicity um some games try, I think, go in the wrong direction and make it a little too... Too many animations when things happen. Yeah, yeah. and trying to figure out, you know, what happened, you know, do I create three in a row, four in a row, five? How does each of those, you know... Sure. This one just kind of says, keep it simple, stupid, and, yeah. you know, I think it does a great job with that. Cool. Well, thanks for the uh, heads up. Yeah, man. Uh, there's, I mean, it's 10 plus million installs on this particular app in the Play Store. There's a reason. I can see why. Yep. Thanks, Scott. You betcha.